Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to do an uh, in-depth uh, full review about this uh, simple mobile uh, powered by T-Mobile. This is the LG Fiesta uh, LTE. If you guys didn't uh, see my unbox uh, vi uh, video, you guys can check them out on the link that's going to show on below. Uh, as you can see, the simple mobile uh, also uh, uh, track phone they carry the similar model and also the Walmart so let's go ahead and get it started first of all I want you to what uh, guy knows how to install the sim card or the memory card this is the nano sim so make sure you face down the gold contact facing down and then the, with a cut you see the sim card is cut so make sure it's facing down right there okay and uh, if you got the micro SD card Make sure the goal is facing down the contact and then uh, just put it like this. Okay, this what it look like on the other side. And all you need to do is just uh, slide in, that's it. This one has a beefy uh, 4500 uh, milliamp uh, battery. So you're gonna have a pretty good uh, battery lifetime on this. You could power on by pressing this one. Oh, it's already powered on anyway, so let's see. So I'm gonna go over the phone real quick. This is uh come with all pre-installed uh apps, email, my account download, Play Store, and you got all your Google uh, stuff right here. Your Google, Google Chrome, and uh, Gmail, Map, uh, YouTube app, Google Drive, uh, Play Music and play movie and TV and you got your dual and uh, Google photo you got your Google Docs uh, sheets and then uh, slide so if you go to your Google music let's see gonna make sure you get the uh, play songs I'm gonna turn down the music due to copyright So I'll be playing like uh, YouTube uh, music for you guys to check out the sound quality later on. So as you can see, it's playing right now by Kendrick uh, Lamar. But I'm not gonna play it right now because uh, due to copyright. I don't want to get my uh, video flagged, so let's see. So as you can see, you can scroll like uh, up to, I create like up to seven pages just to see what's the maximum pages I could have. So this is the uh, app finder. So you find like a uh, Pandora app, Instagram, Uber, or uh, Mobile Strike. And this one has a. Uh, you can play music on your music. Again, I'm not gonna play it. Let me turn down my music so I can just play it. Hit play. Oh, it's automatically playing right now after you hit the title. And this one also has a uh, FM radio. 
you gotta uh, connect to your earpiece on the bottom here with the 3.5 millimeter jack in order to listen to your music you say plug in your earphone to use as an antenna okay if you don't plug in it will not allow you to uh, pick your station and then I don't think yeah it's not gonna allow you to pick station because uh, there's no signal so once you plug it in you gotta turn this one on and after that you can select, select uh, whatever station you want and you could have uh, up to uh, 12 uh, memory station on the bottom here this is a uh, 1 through 6 the other one is uh, 7 through 12 and after you connect the, uh, your headset in if you don't like to use your earphone you can just uh, click on the speaker right here all right and then uh, you can play through your uh, <coughs> LG uh, Fiesta LTE uh, speakerphone right here this, uh, the speaker on this one is uh, pretty good and loud and clear Let's see so there's a productivity uh, calendar contact and then uh, weather is on here there were some other stuff that was on, on here but I drag it out just to uh, move the apps around so if you guys want to learn how to uh, move or drag the icon out to the other pages you can just hold it and then just uh, move it to whatever page you want right now this one is uh, one two three is a uh, four by five uh, grid so you could have it up to five by five okay so that's how you drag the, your app to a different page okay so you could also uh, customize it if you want to add more to it you could choose whatever app that you want to uh, have within uh, this folder so for example if I want the camera I can just click on the camera and then add it and apply and now my camera app is in here okay and this is other tools you got your Wi-Fi utility your calculator your clock uh, voice recorder your uh, download whatever you download from the internet that you download is going to be on here okay and you could uh, copy whatever to uh, your SD card too if you want or your Google Drive and then also there's a quick memo okay so the uh, there's everything that I did okay task so you add task if you want that be a schedule what you need to do and then you can also set the reminder like an alarm Well, voice recorder is simple okay you can just uh, click on it to record hey YouTube what's happening testing one two three and after that you can play back uh, let me turn on my volume real quick hey YouTube what's happening testing one two three okay so that's voice recording you got your clock you can set the alarm and then your work clock, you can set to uh, like C. Tokyo, Japan. So now you know uh, Tokyo right now is uh, 3.36 uh, uh, a.m. in the morning. So they are sleeping right now. And they are one day ahead, so it will be June 14 right now. And you could also set the uh, timer. Uh, I'm gonna put zero up to three seconds and then press start. So it, it also vibrate. Okay, and then you press start. And then you have uh, your stopwatch. 
you press lab or pause okay pause and then reset so I try to move on quickly let's see setting want to do that last and you got your contact your uninstall app whatever your un, uh, recent uninstall app will be on here okay and your Facebook management battery saver you can turn it on if you want and then your memory it shows uh, how much memory is available or is in use uh, this one has a one uh, 1.5 gig gigabyte of uh, RAM and this one uh, battery usage and then your storage and then your file manager if you know what you're doing you can down uh, copy and paste or move your stuff around and this is the app uh, finder <laughs> So it's, almost, it's just like an app store, you can install whatever that is interesting to you, you know. You can look, click on load more, and it says uh, free install, free install. I believe all these are free then. Okay. So, and then you got your phone. Got your phone dialer here. And if you want a text message, you click on here for, for to text message. And then you got your call log, your contact, your group. You can uh, form a group for coworker, family, uh, friends, YouTube, or not grouped it. Account, you can go to the phone or you can go to the your Google uh, Gmail account and this is just a text message as well then you got your what gallery and then you can search the internet so I don't know it's uh, it just uh, is preset to uh, go to trackphone.com okay let's go to uh, setting real quick because there's uh, lots of stuff under setting guys so let's see well you know airplane mode that's if you are taking a, a trip to uh, anywhere that if you are uh, bored uh, to the airplane, you might want to turn that one on. And this will shut out all your Wi-Fi, your calling, your Bluetooth. Well, not Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Just a uh, call and text message will be disabled. Okay. But after that, you can turn on the, your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth and uh, mobile data. Uh, all those will be turned up but the uh, Bluetooth can be turned back on uh, even if it's on the airplane mode so I'm gonna cancel that and uh, you can set your Wi-Fi turn it on and off and Bluetooth and then this is your mobile data you could turn it off or on uh, and you could also set like a limit uh, mobile data usage. If you guys, if you don't have uh, unlimited data, you might want to set it so you don't go over your data and get a uh, charge. Okay. Or hit it with the surprise uh, overcharges. And then call. There's a voicemail call, and then you set it up. 
and then uh, set up the notification sound. So whatever sound that you want to set it, and also you can set the vibrate. When you're in the vibrate mode, or never, or always. Call block, blocking and decline with the message. You could also decline with the message. Uh, can talk, text uh, me. I'll call you back and all this uh, message. So I guess you could all always uh, customize your uh, message up to eighty characters and save it, which is nice. I didn't know you could customize it. And then uh, block numbers. You could add any block numbers either through your contact, your call log, or your you could enter new number, and you could select that number to block it out, so they cannot disturb you, or or call cannot come through. And then uh, digit uh, filter. This one uh, block calls are uh, based on the starting or ending digit in their numbers. And private number, if anybody call you with the private number, you could block them out by turning this on. Answer and end call. End call with the power button, you can turn that on. Or auto answer, you can turn that by uh, set by one second, three second, five second, or leave it off. Okay. Uh, v O L T. I guess is uh, voice over L T E is on. Uh, wi Fi calling is on. And then click on more. Incoming call. Uh, incoming voice call pop up. It shows the uh, incoming call. Uh, pop up when an app is in use. So I guess when you are using like a camera or playing game, it will pop up. So vibrate when outgoing call uh, answer. You could turn that on. And vibrate when call ends. You could also turn that on if you want. Gesture. So this is on. So whenever phone is, uh, you got an income call coming through. You could just uh, flip your phone and then put it on the table like that. So it'll be in the silent instead of uh, ringing and disturb you if you have a meeting. So let's go ahead and then uh, fix dialing. I'm not sure how you do this because uh, you got to enable it. And I try to enter one of the pins, but I'm, you might have to call your... Uh, Simple uh, mobile to find out what's the pin before you set this up. Let's see, caller ID. Caller ID is the uh, network default, or you could hide your number. Oops. Or uh, show number only. Call duration. This is a brand new phone. I haven't used it yet, so there's no call at all. Sound setting, you can set the sound. Right now it's on sound. You can set on vibrate only or silent. And then here's all the volume that you can set. Ringing tone, notification, sound, uh, touch, feedback, and system. Music, video, game, and other uh, media. So ringing tone right now is uh, set on live is good. You can set on whatever different tone that you want. Or you could uh, pause it. And then uh, choose your music track, whatever, as a ringing tone. Cancel that. Ringing ID. So you can turn it on and customize your I uh, ringing ID to will be used instead of any individual ringtone that uh, have been assigned to contact. 
So sound with the vibration, you can turn that on or off. And right here, you get to choose a different type. Let me put it right here, see if you guys can hear it. There's a long lasting, rapid, short, standard, TikTok. Okay. Notification sound, you customize it again. You could do customization, whatever you want. Or you could click on plus to add your own. Mm, let's see. You got your song effect. Sound effect, uh, dialing keypad sound. Everything is on right now. Uh, keyboard sound, touch sound, screen lock sound. All those are on. If, if you if you don't want to hear, you can click on off. Then I'm gonna leave it on. And message call a voice uh, call notification uh, call voice uh, notification. You can turn it on if you want. This will read out loud your calls, read out loud your message. Or if you want to read a message, you could click on turn it on. You could also select uh, whatever language. And then additional setting. Uh, the call forwarding. So you can set a uh, call forwarding or uh, call waiting on this. So you set uh, when it's busy, you can uh, call forward to whatever number that you want. But uh, I'm not sure you, you get additional charge on this. You might want to check with the carrier, Simple Mobile or Track Phone or uh, Walmart. And then call waiting, you can turn it on. Okay. And TTY mode is off right now. If you want, you can turn it on full or HCO or VOC. And hearing aid, you can turn that one on if you have a wearing like a hearing aid. Okay. All right, let's move on to tethering. Let's go, guys. So uh, this one, uh, if you, it allows you to have a USB tethering, Wi-Fi hotspot tethering, or Bluetooth tethering. So let's go and get this uh, USB tethering. You can share an uh, internet uh, connection with the computer via USB. Connect a USB cable from your phone to a computer. Then turn on your USB tethering. Data sharing, download and install driver on a computer at www.lg.com. It is uh, it is not possible to send or text uh, data between the phone and computer when using uh, USB tethering. So you will need to turn uh, USB tethering off to send or receive data. Tethering works uh, with uh, Window Vista and uh, later uh, Windows. So I guess doesn't work for iOS. Also, the this one, if you turn on the hotspot, it allow you to uh, set your own Wi-Fi name, uh, SSL ID, and then uh, password. After that, uh, you will allow other people or other uh, device to uh, share the your data. Okay, and then uh, Bluetooth tethering. You can share your data, mobile data, by uh, turn on your Bluetooth tethering, and then on the other device, turn on Bluetooth and connect to your phone. Pair with your phone first if uh, not already pair.
So you could do the Wi-Fi calling. You can set up your mobile uh, network, your VPN, your N emergency alerts, and then the uh, wireless uh, printing. Uh, I believe we went through this already about the sound. Okay. Notification, yeah. Uh, well, this one, uh, if you don't want anybody to disturb you during your sleep, you can turn on the Do Not dis <coughs> Disturb. And then here's all the apps and then uh, for the notification and everything. You could block uh, whatever app that you don't want to get notified. Okay. You can set the priority as well. Then you got your lock screen. Uh, doing lock screen, you could hide all notification or show all notification or high sensitive uh, only. Display. This one you could customize a uh, font type. Okay. And then the uh, font size. You could also turn on the bold text. There you go. You can turn off. And then the brightness. Uh, you see, I, I've been talking for almost uh, 26 minutes and it still shows 100% of the juice or battery life and the brightness is set at 49% uh, auto brightness screen timeout you can set it to uh, 15 seconds uh, all the way to 15 minutes and or you could just uh, keep screen turn on so if you want your battery last uh, longer you might want to uh, set your brightness to lower you know So I believe this 4500 milliamp battery will last you uh, almost a day if you uh, turn your brightness down. It shows up to 22 hours. Standby, uh, standby time will be 29 days. Uh, com comfort view. Comfort view, if you turn it on, it will reduce your eye strain with the less uh, blue light on the screen. So it's uh, I guess it's meant for you for you to read read books. If you have an Amazon uh, Kindle or any other app that you want to read, you can use it. So it doesn't uh, give you eye strain. All right, here you go. This home touch uh, button customize it. This one I like it very well, uh, very much. This one. It allows you to customize by just uh, dragging the button down or up. So the minimum uh, button is uh, three, okay, and you could maneuver around however you want. I like to have a home button, which is a circle one right in the middle, and you could put a Q slide or there's a capture plus button or notification, and then you could. Uh, Maximum is up to five, okay? So if you don't know what you're doing, you go to the one that's below it, it says help, and you guide you. So the color, as you can see, the bottom color right here is uh, I put it in black because uh, when I was watching the video and some of the, the button, it shows in white it was kind of bright during the night time, so it's kind of bothersome. So if I turn it back to white, see how you guys look, how does it look? So I press OK. You see how now it's kind of white. So you're watching a video right here. There's a white bar with all this button showing, and that is the uh, distraction. Okay. So I like it to uh, keep it black. Uh, display side, this is uh, pretty good. It's allow you to, yeah, as you can see the icon right now, it shows like a medium size. You could have a small size or a large size. Okay. But you cannot put it anywhere in between the middle here. So only low, medium or 
large, small, medium, or large. Okay, and also for the the size for the text, you can set it to large, small, or medium. Okay, so I'll just keep it on medium then. And uh, knock on. Once you put like a double tap, you will turn on or turn off the screen. So for example, so if I double tap it, it shows all my notification, and then uh, the the time and date. So if I want to turn off, I just double knock it and it just turn off. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, there's like you can set customize this effect as well. I'll show it to you. Let's see, let's go and unlock it. Screen saver clock. So screen saver is on clock right now. You can set it to weather or for uh, your Google photo. Motion sensor calibration. If you want, if you need to calibrate this phone again, you guys put this on the flat surface, and then when it's ready, you could click on the calibrate uh, sensor. So home screen. Uh, you could customize the uh, home or home and app drawer. Right now, this is a regular home right here. I'm going to show you the difference. So if I go here and then click on uh, home and app drawer, uh, it provides a separate layout for home screen and app list. So let's go ahead. So this is what it look like. There's a player right there. So that's it. What happened to all my other apps? Hmm. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. Okay. Let's go back. And then on the wallpaper, you just go to your wallpaper gallery or your gallery, your live wallpaper or your Google photo to select whatever you want. Uh, set wallpaper. So right now, if you go to your home page, has been changed. Okay. And this is uh, pretty good on the screen swipe effect. Right, uh, uh, right now it's on breeze. Let me show you the different. Let me show you press OK. So this is a sli slide, okay? Let's go to the breeze. And then this is the breeze that we were on at first. Then I'm going to show you the panorama. I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference, but. Uh, Then the carousel. See the effect, the carousel. Okay. All right, let's go to the next. Uh, you can sort out by uh, the name of a particular. Okay, and then uh, at the home, you can set it 5x5 five five if you want to uh, have it bigger, or 4x4. Four four. 
And you could also hide app. You can select whatever uh, app that you want to hide. Okay. Go to the lock screen. Right now I have a lock with the secure with the pattern lock. Also this is a small lock. It, it uh, tells you what is a small lock. Small lock can do this by recognize a signal like when your device is in your pocket or near your home. So you could uh, select on, on body detection. You could turn on and off. Or you could trust trusted uh, place or trusted uh, device, trusted face. Oh, you said a facial recognition. That's cool. Unlock your phone by looking at it. Wow. And then uh, trust, trusted voice. Wallpaper, I thought we did that, let's see. Okay, this one is another thing that I wanna go over is uh, make pattern visible. You, saw, you see how uh, I uh, unlock with the pattern, I can see what I did. You can make it invisible, okay, let's see. By turning this off. So now I'm gonna look. Unlock it, so you cannot see what I'm drawing or the pattern, okay? Okay, wallpaper is the same thing, clock. You could position the clock in the center or the left. Shortcut, okay, this is another cool, cool thing that I like about the phone. Uh, you could customize your uh, Shortcut when your phone is spin when your phone is locked, so you can click on Add. So, for example, if I want to click on Chrome, add Chrome on there and add a calendar and add like a calculator. Okay, once I you could have up to five different uh, shortcuts. Okay, so now I uh, lock my phone. Hmm, let's see, you could touch and hold. Yeah, there you go, okay. I guess it didn't take effect early uh, at, at first. So you see, I customized uh, the button right here, the shortcut. I can have up to uh, five, but since your phone is locked, then so now I go on the internet. You need to still need to unlock it. So now I open my calendar. Then calculator, so when we flip it, you get a scientific uh, function for the calculator, right? Okay, let's go back to setting. Got so much thing to cover, guys. So let's see. Uh, Shortcut, uh, screen swipe, oh there you go. This is a screen uh, swipe effect. Like I told you earlier, uh, we on the particles, so you see how when I swipe it. Oh shoot, no, no. No.
uh, accidentally uh, press uh, play. Dude. You see how the, it, that's the effect. I'm gonna show you guys the next one. Soda, press OK. And you make the sound. Okay. And then the uh, last one. Well, not last one. Big six circle. You got two more. So the last one is a uh, vector circle. So that's a vector uh, circle. All right, guys. So you could have a uh, contact info for last phone. You can enter your voice, uh, your email, or your phone number, and then click on save. So I guess uh, you you will appear on the lock screen, lock timer. You could have uh, immediately or uh, five seconds up to 30 minutes. And then power key instant lock. You could turn that on or off. Right now it's on, on, it's on. Storage. You could click over here, uh, internal storage. If you want to clear up your cache or you want to go here, cache data, and then uh, Press OK to uh, clear it. So if your uh, phone is uh, running uh, sluggish, you want to go over here and then clear up your cache. As you can see right now, it shows a uh, zero uh, byte. <laughs> okay, right here, here's uh, where you want to eject your uh, memory card. You want to press here. So now you can check your uh, micro SD card. Here is the battery information and power saving. Right now the ba uh, battery saver is not click on. And uh, if you want, you can see the battery usage. I turn on the battery percentage on the status bar, so it should. After all this, uh, we still show a hundred minutes, which is uh, pretty awesome. I was using uh, this phone to watch a video in a couple hours, and it lasts pretty long. Memory. So after we clear out, we still have uh, 359 megabyte. Kind of low. apps if you want to force any app that's uh, keep on running in the background you can force it to stop or uh, disable it okay location you can turn this uh, low power location estimate on if you want but it's not going to be as accurate security you could have a content lock content lock by either password or pattern and you could also encrypt your SD card or secure a startup you could turn it on and off I'm just going to leave it off. You can set up your SIM card uh, pin. I'm not going to mess with that. Password uh, type invisible. I showed you that earlier. So 
so it's instead of swiping you be password uh, it will not display it you give the phone administrator Android device manager allow Android device manager to lock and erase it lost device you can turn that on if you want and unknown source uh, there are some uh, third party you need to turn it on in order to allow it and there's a uh, under credential storage protection you could go check those out and then trust agent oh screen pin right now I set it on I'm going to show it to you right now what is that about there are two different kind of screen pin uh, see let me show you you click on the square button right here for example if you want to pin one of the app oops for example if I want to pin like a Google Chrome you see there's a pin right here I could click on it so whenever I clear out it's gonna keep on staying here okay oh another thing I want to go over is the multi uh, window this is the button or the icon for multi windows that means you could have a uh, two screen for multitasking so I'm going to do that you see my uh, window has split it already and this is the multi window button as well so on the top Yes, my uh, call and contact stuff over here. I mean, my phone. And on the bottom, I can select whatever window that I want to open. But make sure you got that multi window icon. Or else, if you don't have it, it's just going to take up the whole screen. So now I can multitask. I, for example, and then I could create in my calendar code 611 to talk to customer service on what day or if I put it on landscape mode it's going to show this way as well okay you can move it but if you move it all the way down you close in the app okay so that's one way of the pin. The second way uh, that I just showed to you er earlier under the setting, which is the screen pin. Once you screen pin it, it will not allow you to go anywhere. So see, this is a screen pin. Once I hit that, pin this screen to only use this app. So once you pin it, it will not allow you to go anywhere even your app okay you see other button is all highlight I mean it's gone it's hidden once you do the screen pin so in order to get out even though your multitask uh, button it will not allow you to do anything so you need to uh, uh, you need to uh, press and hold this uh, back button by unpin it so now you could, your phone is back into uh, normal mode now you can hit the multitask and do whatever you want okay so for example you go to here and if you click on the multitask uh, button you could uh, pin this uh, app okay but you gotta open it first. I have calculator, and after you open the calculator, then you hit this button. Then you get pin it. Screen pin, okay? So I think I cover everything except the camera mode. Usage assets, okay? Security, where am I? Well, I can't even sing this one. Uh, you gotta turn it on. Right now, we're on Google. 
if you want to create a more account, you can add more account to it. Your uh, email, your Exchange, your Facebook, your Google, your LG account, your Microsoft Exchange, your personal with the IMAP or the POP server. And then uh, the other one is the language and keyboard. I'm not going to go through that. So you can set the pointer speed or you reverse the mouse button. And then uh, backup and reset, backup your data, backup account, and then automatic restore. You can uh, reset your network reset or factory data reset. Once you click on factory the data reset, that will erase everything, your account, your picture, everything will be lost. Google service. This is where all your Google stuff is at. Uh, shortcut keys. Okay, there's uh, there are two shortcut keys. Okay, you want to turn. Right now it's on on. Shortcut key equal the screen uh, to the capture plus by pressing the volume up twice, or if you press the volume down twice, you will activate the camera. Let's check it out. Ah, why is not activating? Let's see. Oh, I guess you gotta be in. Yeah, your screen cannot be uh, locked. Check. Well, it has to be locked. Let's see. Oh my god, the music in the background still, and then uh, I didn't know that, and then it's showing 100% still. Let me clear that thing. Damn. So, uh, well, the end time, uh, the end time right here is on auto, auto time zone. You can set it to 24 hours if you want to go to the, with the military time. Okay. And then, uh, Accessibility, you got your vision, your hearing, your motion, cognition, uh, access feature shortcut, auto rotate uh, screen, select to speed or switch access, and then about phone, show you the model of the phone. And if you want to go to software uh, info, it's on the latest uh, Android 7.0. And regulatory and then safety. Let's see. So let's go into the camera mode, guys. So this is the front-facing camera. You could record a video, video or take picture. And then the front-facing camera, you could take it. Uh, You could have a full HD and a 5.0 do 5.0 uh, megabit megapixel and this uh, record full HD HDR God damn it! I have a voice uh, recognition on for the taking the picture cheese whiskey. LG, LG, smile, 
uh, all those uh, voice command to uh, take the picture. And you could uh, HDR timer. See right here, the selfie shot. Take a selfie with your hand raised or face sound recognition. So you go like this. So if you uh, pull out your palm and then fist it like that one time, it's going to take one picture. If you do it, pull out your palm and then do it twice, you will take up to four pictures. And then right here, you can adjust the beauty of your skin tone. And also you can turn on the front-facing uh, flash. You could record, uh, which is pretty good. You could record a video with the flash on right here. You could toggle on and off. That's uh, pretty awesome. Okay. So I'm going to turn out the flash. Oh, it's going to blind me. And you could also uh, change the different filters. Okay. Those are all the different uh, filters. And then uh, front facing camera is uh, 5 uh, megapixel. And we are going to the rear facing camera now. And then you can click on the... If you hit the shutter button continuously, you take uh, up to 30 pictures. Uh, same thing, you could change the uh, different filters. If you go to setting, you could uh, see it's a uh, 13 megapixel video is on full HD. And you could take a uh, HDR timer, you could set it to uh, 3 seconds and up to 10 seconds. And then uh, cheese shutter. So you take a picture by itself. You go also set the grid line. I set the grid line. You can turn that off if you want and tag location. And then this is a simple view. I don't know what's a simple view anyway, so, so let's see. So you turn on and out the flash. It's an auto, no flash or flash is on. And you can also record with a flash on and off by pressing this icon. I don't think this one has a image uh, stabilization. Okay. All right, guys. So this is my uh, in-depth uh, full review about this phone and then uh, function about this phone. Oh, and last but the least, uh, I need to move on to quick. So I'm going to play it, uh, no copyright sound real quick. to uh, let you guys hear the sound quality about this uh, phone. Only thing I don't like about the speaker grill is that sometimes when you put it on the flat table, 
you might not hear uh, clearly, or you might cover cover the speaker completely. So that's the only disadvantage about this phone. But it is very clear. What the heck? Yeah, here's something. Alright guys, so please uh, be sure to like the video and give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't do so yet and then uh, share, comment and like. Please uh, also uh, turn on your notification if you guys haven't do so yet so whenever I upload a new and latest video you guys can check them out guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.